Welcome back. Today, we want to look at something simple. We, we've all seen the fight between Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. Good fight. Very good fight. There's something I don't get. I don't get it. I need that to be explained to me. For all of you who are celebrating Ryan, I need that to be explained to me. Okay, maybe you're a fan of Ryan. Donald Trump 2024. Congratulations to him on his win. Maybe I'm just the one who's tripping. A lot of brothers jumping on his dick. Haney just got defeated. Haney just got defeated. Okay, maybe you're not a fan of Haney. I'm not a Haney fan. I'm definitely not a Haney fan. I'm a, I'm, I'm a Tang fan, for sure. But I'd be damned if I celebrated his defeat. I'm not celebrating any black man defeat. Look at it this way. You think if the Germans get beaten football by the British or by the English, you think the Germans are going to celebrate? They just got defeated. You think they're going to celebrate the British victory? Argentina won the last, won, won the last World Cup. You think France was celebrating? Because I know uh, France France lost that game. I remember watching that game. France lost that game. You think France is celebrating? Oh, do you think French people are celebrating? All right, how about French people in Argentina? You think they're celebrating? Fuck no. What the fuck is there to celebrate? Your team just got defeated. Even I don't have to like Haney. He don't have to like me, but we're on the same team at the end of the day. The thing that's interesting for me is that it's a black man defeat. And it's not the first time I've seen black people celebrate black man defeat. Why you love celebrating black man defeat so much? I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. People in back home would have said, boy, oh boy, yo, for real, when I celebrate. No, no way I celebrate for. How we just get beat? Let me tell you something. If, if Haney lost, which he did, we lose too. We just lost. We lose too. I don't care what kind of black you are. I don't care what kind of African you are. I don't care what you are I'm not saying no man I celebrate another man team I'm not say that I'm not say that but like I said it's not the first time we see this we see this many times before our people just celebrating our defeat and when we start celebrate our own defeat we're dead then don't question why we're in that situation yeah we know the situation we're in we don't even have to question it you don't feel conflicted? You think say you you think that Ryan Garcia is, is fighting for you? No, I hear what you might be saying. You might be thinking, Haney ain't fighting for me. Oh, is he not? So if he puts on a good show, it's good for us. Bad show is bad for us. Defeat, bad for us. Success, good for us. You know how much perception Mohammed Ali change? You know how much perception Usain Bolt change? How much perception Lewis Hamilton change? All of these great athletes, Tiger Woods, you know how much perception Tiger Woods change? You would have celebrate when Tiger Woods get defeated by another man? You have to celebrate your own defeat, and you don't even know. I mean, I say I can't be a fan of Ryan, sure, but world that see him energy day. Remember? World that see him energy day. A couple of years ago, Ryan wasn't really that big in the black community, you know? He was just known, you know? Everybody know who he is, you know, but... Most most of us were on Tank's team. We were on, you know, with Haney. We were with um, Shakur. But the moment Ryan started acting crazy, everyone I know just jump up and support him. Ah, what is? Ah, what blood clot this? What is this? What is this? It's a genuine question, though. We really want to answer for a lot of know. Because when Simone Biles became the biggest thing in gymnastic, we all celebrated. And we should never stop. Are we going to celebrate? Are we also going to celebrate when she has a defeat? Like I said, well, that same energy. At the end of the day, humans just humans. But I'm genuinely curious why I'm going to just uh, jump on Ryan's dick. All these brothers out here celebrating Ryan. Haney just got defeated. Y'all should be championing R Haney to come back strong. Okay? Y'all should be championing Haney to come back strong. Because one thing with Ryan and Haney is that their skills are very similar. It's almost impossible to find two other fighters who are so closely related. Their skills are very similar. In the, in the unprofessional fights, Haney won six. 
Ryan won six. They're very similar. They're almost equal footing. Well, we know Ryan went in overweight. For me, it doesn't matter because I don't think it was just the weight that won Ryan the fight. I think that with the fight, Ryan was genuinely the better fighter, especially that night. No problems. I'll admit it. Every, every one of you celebrating Haney's defeat, all of y'all are suspects. Suspects. I just seen this happen and I'm just like, this, this is not normal. When did we start doing this? It's nothing new. You should go back in history and see what, what people used to say about Muhammad Ali. Not just white people, some black people. Black journalists, what they used to say about Muhammad Ali. Well, especially when he changed his name. Jesus Christ, then, then drag him through the mud. So it's like, why don't we want to tear each other down? And it takes people to stand up like this, stand up and say it. Why are you tearing each other down? Everything black falls under the African culture. Everything like us falls under the African culture. I'm not care where you come from. You are descendants of Africans. And you are celebrating another African getting beaten. Disappointed. You would have probably celebrated if Floyd got beaten by Paki, wouldn't you? You would have probably celebrated. Aren't they not fighting again? They're probably fighting again. Another thing. Are you going to celebrate when Mike Tyson get beaten by um, that idiot Jake? Yeah, the celebrate. I won't be celebrating. We know Mike is out. You know, we know Mike is not in any shape to fight a younger guy in his blood clad twenties. So, are you gonna celebrate? I'm not. I'm not celebrating. What may I celebrate for? And Mike Tyson is loved by everyone as well. He, man is loved by everyone. Man is loved by all people of all culture. But we are the one people who should not celebrate his defeat or any black man defeat. I'm gonna end the video right here. So, say what. Say what you want to say, but most I want to coward. Most I want to just want to jump on Ryan's dick slackness. I'm going to cut it out.